I used to have a guitar teacher who was much older than I was. And he would tell me about how big of a difference it made on music when the Beatles appeared on the Ed Sullivan show. He said, you know, prior to that date, there was roughly around 5,000 guitar players in the United States. But then the following day after their first appearance, there was probably 50,000 guitar players. So when you have a dramatic increase in interest in something like that, there's a lot of positives that come from it. Because, you know, maybe, maybe a lot of those people introduced to it and say, I'm going to start playing guitar are, are going to bring something really creative and unique to the instrument. And, and that's wonderful. But at the same time, you got to think whenever you go from 5,000 people doing something to 50,000, the overall quality is going to drop. So the same thing has kind of happened with social media because nowadays anybody who has an opinion is capable of sharing it with the entire world. So in many ways that's great because uh, like take for example what's going on with the hurricane. There's tons of people putting up boots on the ground reports, video and uh, what they're seeing that's showing really just how bad the damage is and, and then, you know, how poor the, the government response has been and, and also how uh, a lot of government interference has hampered relief efforts. We would have never been able to see any of that stuff if we were just relying on, on mainstream news, which, which, you know, is always questionable. Anybody, sh anybody should know since 2020 that any... Thing that comes on the news is is very questionable anymore so it is a good thing we have individuals who can bring us this stuff that we wouldn't be able to see otherwise in different points of view but on the other hand it, it gives everybody who's got these opinions the ability to speak even if maybe they're not qualified to right i mean it, Everybody thinks they're an expert on everything. But the truth is, when you look at most of these videos, even ones that are educational, you can tell that are they're not really experts on the subject. They're not speaking from experience. It's more like they did some research for the video and then put that information out there. I see it with like gun videos. Let's say there's a certain model of gun I'm looking at and interested in. I'll watch 10 videos reviewing it, and every last one of them will have the same talking points they repeat over and over. So you know it's not just that they're speaking from a, a long amount of experience have with the function of that firearm. It's just from research they did. You know, and that's kind of sad because, like I, in my channel, I've always tried to just stick to things that I have some, I feel I have some level of expertise, expertise in. Now, let's say there is something that I don't have expertise in, but I do talk about it. I try to uh, preface it by saying, hey, I'm new to this. I'm just experimenting, and this is the result of my experiment. So I try to be as open and honest about that as possible. Uh, sure, I, I could go and make videos where okay, I want to talk about something I don't really know what I'm talking about, but go and spend the time, read a few articles, watch a few videos, take some notes, and just go and repeat what I've seen. Uh, but that's just not very honest to me. Um, and we're seeing that with the hurricane stuff too, because content creators can see that any video put out there that's titled uh, Hurricane Devastation is getting a million views right now. And, and then, you, you know, in the little thumbnail, you put a, a picture of some flooding. It's going to get a million views. So people see that and say, oh, I got to do a video on this. So they're not even using their own footage or their own opinions and experience. They're just uh, copy and pasting video from somewhere else and uh, some information that they learned from somewhere else and, and just parroting it back out there in hopes they can make some money and get some views off of it. So it is up to us as viewers to kind of be discerning about the difference 
between what is education and what is entertainment. Because we see this so much, especially in the homestead and the prepper channels, where they started out, you know, their, their old videos 10 years ago were all education. They'd be talking about how to can and preserve your harvest, how to manage your land, how to do this and that. But now, the present day, all of their videos are just doom and gloom. They talk about current events and politics and things. Now, I understand why they've moved in that direction because entertainment sells. All you got to do is look at how much money actors and athletes make to entertain you. And just like people, there, there's a group of people that enjoy watching horror movies because it makes us feel something. It's a form of entertainment. Uh, a lot of people enjoy hearing the doom and gloom stuff because it entertains us. So I see why they've moved that direction because, I, I mean, the big homestead channels, they'll get more views in a few hours than my channel has in its entire history. So I can't blame them for going that way, but we need to recognize that they, that may not be information that's most valuable to us. Maybe it does entertain, entertain us in some way, but is it really providing us the sort of education that we're looking for when we're, when we're watching this kind of stuff? Now, don't take it as me telling you what you should or should not watch. If you just want to watch entertainment your entire life, go right ahead. It's your life. Do what you want with it. But for myself, I think there's better forms of entertainment than watching YouTube, okay? There's just a much better things out there in life. For me personally, I see this platform as a way to learn something. So all the videos I watch personally, I either want to learn something new or have my thoughts questioned, something that makes me think in some way. So that's kind of my test for videos because it just bothers me when I turn on a video about something that looks like it could be educational. And for the first three or four minutes, they're just talking about some random things about their channel and what's going on and their, their sweepstakes they're having. And, oh, hit the like button and smash the subscribe and all, you know, for four minutes. And I got to turn it off because it's just like this isn't what I clicked on it for. I clicked on it to see some educational value. I only have so much time on this earth, right? And and so much time, especially to watch YouTube videos. Live, living the homestead life, you're busy, man. You got work to do. So even the channels I'm subscribed to that I really like, I don't get to watch every single thing they put out. Because let, let's say 10 channels I'm subscribed to put out a video today, but during the course of the day, I only have the time to watch four or five. Well, I kind of got to be picky and choosy on which I decide to watch. If something looks like it's not going to uh, add any educational value to me, I'm just going to give it a skip. So it's up to us as viewers to understand that this is just the way that the platform works, social media. Because the, the Google Corporation does not make money off of you educating people. They make money off of how long you're viewing something and, and staying tuned in for it. How entertained are you by this, right? They're, they're not going to recommend a video I've done on reviewing a really good book that's going to give you a mountain of homesteading information because nobody cares. It's not entertaining enough. That may be something that preppers find absolutely incredibly value to them. But if it doesn't entertain people, it's not going to bring in the ad revenue. So they're not going to recommend it to anybody. But yeah, when you go through your recommended videos, they give you, it's all when it comes to homestead stuff, it's all doom and gloom. And that's fine. I get it. I mean, I've thought about that. You know, if, if, I, if my purpose of my channel was to get as many views as possible and make as much money as I possibly could, that's exactly what I would do. I would talk about current events and politics uh, 
pick a side one or the other that they give you out there, re regardless of what my political beliefs are. Uh, just take a side out there, talk up one side and talk down the other and, and just blame blame them for uh, all the current events. And I know my channel would explode. That's just the way that works. But uh, that, that's just not what I want to do. And that's not the reason why I started this channel. So I hope to continue educating I hope that every video, I would like somebody to take something away from it. Even if it's just a little small something, hopefully they've learned something or to at least question the way they think and make they make themselves question things. So there's lots of other channels out there doing this too. Most of them have a very small subscriber base because the corporation just is not going to recommend their videos. So if that is your purpose, is to learn something on this platform, it's up to you to go find these channels. And then within the channels, go and look over, like, like I know I organize all my videos in the playlist by subject. So if somebody wants to learn a certain thing, there's videos under these certain subjects. Uh, it's going to be up to you. Like, when I look over my history, it's... The majority of the views on my channel have come from like five videos of the 90 or so I've done. Just the five videos. So those are the ones that are getting recommended to people in your feed. Those may or may not be the best ones I've done. They may not be the information that you're looking for. So don't just wait for Google to give you recommendations for good information. You're going to have to find it yourself. Because what they're recommending is the most entertaining things, at least according to their statistics. So they're providing you and recommending you entertainment. If you want education, it's up to us to, to find it. So I want to thank uh, sister channel Miscellaneous Me. She gave me the idea for this video uh, after a comment I made on one of hers. So she's one of those good channels. And then there's a bunch of others that are, are really putting out good homestead and proper information out there. And uh, if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to get recommended it. You're going to have to find it yourself.